guys and um, welcome back to back back to my channel this your girl raven here if you're new welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that way you can be up to date with whenever i upload so we're gonna jump right into it as i told you guys last week i bought products off of instagram so like instagram was like harassing me and like kept on like showing this freaking advertisement for ill maquillage and i'm like mm ignore oh here we go again ignore and then finally I was like fine 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 I'll go ahead and get it so I ended up getting a trial of Il Maquillage foundation and it cost $4.95 for shipping and then it was like a 14 day trial after the 14 day trial then they're going to charge you the full price for the foundation so I was like okay what's the worst that could happen so they were like um we match you with your perfect foundation like they go based on your skin tone you answer a few little questions and then they'll select the foundation that's your fit so i'm like mm -hmm. girl that's too good to be true right that's so too good to be true didn't believe it so they went ahead and they sent me this foundation it is called woke up like this this is flawless base foundation and I'm like, okay, we shall see if this works. I watched a few people's videos on YouTube to see, you know, did it match their skin? Some people say, yeah, it definitely matched. And other people said, <laughs> no, it's a fail. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this foundation. This is in the color 195. Woke up like this. Um, so I already went ahead, I washed my face, I put primer and everything on. The only thing left to do is just go ahead and try this out. So we're going to go ahead and see what this looks like. I already know what it looks like because I put it on before, but I wanted to show you guys so you can see for yourself. Okay. So I put a few pumps on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rub this bad boy in. So off of that, you can already tell this is not my color. It is appearing too light. So it's showing up too light and then also like it's not fully covering my dark spots but prior the first time I tried it like my dark spots was a lot like darker and now it faded a lot and so you still see it like you still see it all right here you still see it like right here it's not cute so we're going to try to apply some more so you guys can get the feel I don't know if you guys could tell based on the lighting, but it is like way off. Like this foundation is more so for like a lighter tone person. Like I'm going to say like a light skinned person. Or like if you're getting towards that caramel color. But this right here, no, no, baby, it's not cute. But I do like that it's not like heavy whatsoever. It's not heavy. So with the second coat, like you could go ahead and you could tell now that my dark spots are a lot better. Like you can't really see them that much anymore. I feel like if I got the correct color, then it would be perfect. Like I would actually like it just because like. I'm going to probably have to put like a couple coats on since you, I do have dark spots. But they covered up pretty good like the second time around with the foundation. Even though it's not my skin color. 
but you guys can tell like look how light it is and then look at my eyes right here so mm. this is the end result after two coats of foundation as I stated like the dark spots right here is pretty much covered up with the second coat of foundation which is what I like it's not that noticeable it kind of blended in other than that like the only issue that I have with the foundation is that it is it is not the right color so maybe if I had the right color I would actually like it thumbs up this video if you want me to try again and see if I get the correct color this time and how that comes out but overall, I think the foundation is pretty good. It's not cakey. It's not uncomfortable. Um, let's see. I like the fact that it's not one of those. Okay, let me try with the, my pinky finger because I got foundation on. So, you know how like with a lot of um, foundations, like if you touch your face like this. Or you accidentally touch your face not much product comes off it's a little bit of product that came off and got on my finger but it's not tremendous like a lot of other foundations like if you oh shoot I touched my face and then you touch a piece of paper and then it's on the paper I feel like it's not that bad on me it doesn't look dry maybe it just depends on like the primer you use prior but I know with when I watched other people's videos, some of them said that it came out kind of dry. So for me, it didn't come out dry. Um, for a few other people I saw, it was perfect for them, perfect fit, perfect shape. But for me, it just wasn't the perfect shape. So I'm going to try again, maybe, and we're going to see if the foundation is a lot better. But overall, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on my social media. And thumbs up this video if you want me to review the Il Maquillage Foundation in the correct color. So until next time, guys, bye!